this aeroplane will have some improvement over its predecessor, whether it's its speed, in its general performance, or in its increased safety. To make these improvements possible, the aircraft designer has an ever-widening choice in many of the components and materials he may use in construction. But the one thing in which he has no choice is the air through which his aeroplane must fly. And just how the air behaves when an aeroplane moves through it is one of the all-important factors in aircraft design. In this wind tunnel, aeroplane models or portions of them are tested. And instead of the aeroplane flying through the air, the air is made to flow past the plane, which is held by supports, which you can see here. Enormous fans, partly visible there at the far end of the wind tunnel, draw air past the models at any desired speed. While windows in the side of the tunnel, as you'll notice in this picture from the side, enable scientists to control the experiments. But it would obviously be an advantage if we could actually see what the air is doing as it flows past these wing surfaces. And so, for this purpose, a smoke tunnel has been devised. This is the apparatus. Ordinary paraffin is heated to form a white vapor which collects in that jar at the bottom on the right. This vapour is fed into a thin glass fronted chamber, here, through a number of small nozzles. It's then drawn off at the opposite side of the chamber by a fan. The paraffin vapour appears in the glass chamber here, as those white horizontal lines representing layers of air. If we now place into this stream of paraffin vapour and air a piece of wood shaped like a section of the wing of this aircraft, we can get an idea of what actually occurs to the layers of air as they pass over the surface of the wing. Here's what happens in the smoke tunnel. Notice that as the wing is tilted, the airflow breaks from the upper surface. In practice, as this occurs, the wing loses its lift and the aircraft stalls. That is, it's no longer supported by the air. Let's see that again. This breakaway of the air from the surface has been a problem ever since flying began, and numerous devices have been built to prevent it happening. One such device is the handley paid slot, invented over 30 years ago. The wing actually possesses an extra member, which fits to the front edge and which protrudes when the breakaway of the air occurs. There it is. Notice how it helps to guide the stream of air over the surface of the wing. There it is again. Here's another device, a smooth revolving cylinder. With the cylinder stationary, a considerable amount of air turbulence, as you see, here is caused in the rear. But now, on rotation, the air is carried round as if it's stuck to the cylinder. By making a cylinder like this, the front edge of the wing, a smooth airflow could be maintained with the wing in the stall position. First, here it is with the cylinder stationary. Notice how the air breaks away. Now the cylinder starts to rotate, and once more the air flows along the upper surface of the wing. Let's see that again. Cylinder is stopped. Notice the breakaway. It rotates again, allowing the air to flow along the upper surface. Unfortunately, this device is too complicated for practical use. Here's another device, but showing more promise. Air is sucked off through this pipe from the front edge of the wing there. The front edge being made of a special porous metal. This is a vacuum pump, which will draw off the air from the front edge of the wing. Now the model is installed in the smoke chamber. And here's the wing in the stall position. The pump is switched on, sucking the air through the front of the wing. And immediately, the air flow along the wing's upper surface is smoothed out. Now the pump is switched on. Here's a closer view. The pump's off. The pump's on. The air streams now follow the upper surface. An even more striking effect is obtained with this cylinder, which has a porous metal rear section through which air can be sucked away. Suction on, 
and notice how the airflow is maintained right round the surface to the rear. An unusual wing section has been designed in Australia. Here it is, employing air suction, in which the air is sucked off along this slot at the back. Here it is in the smoke tunnel. Suction on. Notice how the airflow follows the upper surface. Suction off. Methods like these of studying airflow all play their part in the further understanding of some of the problems facing aircraft design. The startling wing shapes of some of our latest machines have invariably been influenced by this type of laboratory work.